Hey guys, you know who it is, what's going on, when it's happening, where it's at, and why we're here today. How you doing? It is I, the sublimely magnificent, big ugly himself, Omari Ellis. Feo Grande on YouTube, and I'm here again with something new. And I'm here with a good buddy of mine as we go ahead and we have this new thing where we decide to review movies and introduce things like that we haven't seen or whatever. I mean, he can go further into it, but first let me introduce him. The great one himself, the one and only Bill. You need more than just Bill. <laughs> What? I was like, I said, Bill, and I was like, I feel like there needed to be another syllable. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's 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 a rough life. My name is, my name is Bill Smith. Bill Smith. I could have just said Bill Smith. The most, I didn't most, know if you wanted your last fake, name out there. Yeah, it's fine. It's the most <laughs> fake fucking sounding name in existence. Every time I say it, they're like, "All right, but what's your real name?" Yeah, I ain't monetized. Like right now, I'm still cussing right Bill now. Bill Smith. It sounds. <laughs> Bill Anybody who Smith. happened to watch this video has fallen asleep or turned off. <laughs> or at least I could have. Well, the baby says, like, I needed the second syllable because I, I went so hard on the Bill. <laughs> so I was like, Bill Smith. But I was like, Bill. Oh. Anyhow. Yes, said. thank you for having me, sir. Thank you for having me. It's been, uh, uh, we've been talking about this for a while and it's good to. It's good to be here digitally. Indeed. Indeed. Much like my boy Super Jazz, who you guys have seen on the channel with the DBZ reviews, Bill is another one of my best friends in my life. Another brother that I've had from one of my many, many mothers out there. <laughs> Long life with many mothers and many brothers. Indeed. And I am blessed to have it, you know, by whoever <laughs> is doing the blessing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so... We had this idea where we were going to, you know, trade off films suggesting to one another. And, you know, this week was Bill's suggestion to me for me to watch. And so, you know, having watched it, I'll go in here and I'll just go ahead and ask you, Bill. So what did you suggest and uh, why? Uh, well, um, uh, I just happened to, on this past Saturday, uh, went and saw at the local big theater here in st louis the fox uh went and saw the touring company of hamilton the musical the fox awesome um, and so when we spoke the following day and decided to uh uh schedule our first one of these i thought what could be better than uh the disney plus recording of hamilton yeah and I had and I had not seen it, which worked yeah, perfect and, for the know, premise of the show. Yeah, that's <laughs> what we're gonna try and do at least for the for the first first round of these uh, see how deep we can go. You know, both both you and I, I think, have watched a lot of stuff. We've watched a lot of time. stuff. I feel like you've watched more than me. Maybe movie in some wise, cases, standalone movie wise. <laughs> Obviously, there's a whole ass genre I can talk about where I've seen more than you, <laughs> but Indeed. that's a whole ass genre, not necessarily movies. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll go we'll go as far as we can into uh, trying to push each other's. <laughs> boundaries of what we normally uh extend uh, seek out. yeah broaden our uh, catalog yeah and so uh i threw out hamilton um uh hamilton is uh a recording of the staged version on broadway uh they recorded it some time ago let's see in june of 2016 okay uh, and it was released in 2020 on disney plus uh the that was in the middle of the of what in this house we call the pandy uh, is a little bit of a way to lighten it up um stolen from another podcast that's fair. Uh, back in the day but, I, I, I like the pandy uh but yeah it so it was one of those things um for me uh kind of like it in like the the vein of the of, of what was it tiger king mm -hmm. it was just kind of one of those yeah because tiger, tiger king was another onto. thing that just blew up yeah yeah i uh you know we're both 
theater people. We've mm-hmm. uh, we've done theater a ton in high school and beyond. And it's the main uh, thing that like got us to bond in the first. Right, right. No, yeah. So I don't. I, I it was never something that I, I I hadn't sought it out yet. In the back of my mind, maybe it was like a like. All right, yeah, yeah, sure. A rapping musical about the founding fathers. Like it's almost the kind of the cheesiest byline that you could make <laughs> for a film. Like the most cheesiest yeah, like, like fifth grade teacher trying to be cool like a script of a sitcom <laughs> yeah I, and i know we're gonna get into probably why i hadn't seen it at one point but yeah <laughs> that was that it's like you mentioned but yeah but no was, i did watch it i watched it a couple nights ago two nights now mm-hmm. i've uh seen an animatic or two of a couple of the songs on youtube that i liked from it what were you what were you expecting like when when, you, when I when we first decided that all right this is what you're gonna do, all right. Uh, so with Hamilton, I don't. I have a weird trait where I do like popular things. There are things that get popular, and I'm like, I have to check this out. This is popular, but I feel like if I don't catch said popular thing early enough, I hear about it too much. And then I get to a point where I'm like, that's clearly overrated. I don't want to watch it. Because <laughs> right. I was expecting, all right, people are telling me, because Hamilton has a lot of fans. We'll get into whether or not they're justified. They are. Um, uh, Hamilton has a lot of fans. But it had been presented to me numerous times as like God's gift to musicals. And I was just like... Oh, this is not gonna be that good. Uh, my sister had recommended to me like this past Christmas, for a while until she like showed me the first scene. I thought the black dude that they use in all the promotional things, that Aaron Burr, I uh-huh. thought that was their depiction of Alexander Hamilton. And so I was like, is this just a fucking um? What if Hamilton was black? Because <laughs> you know you have movies and plays like that. Like, right. The Wiz is the Wizard of Oz, but black, yeah. <laughs> which mm-hmm. we haven't discussed, but we've kind of discussed on camera. <laughs> oh, like, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just uh, off camera for those who like. <laughs> Watch the Whatever we want. we want podcast. <laughs> cheap look, cheap look. No, um, <laughs> no, but so I thought it was going to be something along that along those lines, but I found out that was Aaron Burr, and then later I realized. No, Aaron Burr was white too. It was just literally let's cast the best actors for the role. Played and I by liked it. Leslie Odom Jr. Thank you. I do not Leslie know Odom Jr., any of these. Aaron Burr. Oh no, I know Jeffrey Goff. Uh, Jeffrey Goff is uh, King. That's the ki- King George. That's King the George, only actor correct. in this play's name I knew before you said Leslie. <laughs> I might know uh, Lafayette and Thomas Jefferson. He looks hella familiar. But, yeah. But no, I I didn't know what to... I expected to be disappointed. <laughs> That's what I expected. Because I'm like, all right, here's this thing everybody has built up. Let's fucking see it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, a couple hours, two hours and 40 minutes. And then I was like, well, how long is this? Two hours and 40 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> but went by... Fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it it can go by quick. Oh yeah, it, and it did. I like I said, I as far as like if I were to have like an initial reaction to it, it was, it was great. I wasn't God's gift to musicals or anything like that, but mm-hmm. I was I was telling someone I was like I can't think of anything I just outright didn't like or hated about it. Which is the only thing I can say. Uh, which oddly was one. It's like it's one of those things where I was like, it was very good all around. There were some scenes and stuff I liked, but for the most part, there was nothing that really stuck with me, except for those few songs. And I was like, I think that's the only negative thing I can say about it. Is like it, at least upon first viewing and first hearing of the songs. 
there was not that lasting of an impression except that was a good two hours and 40 minutes. <laughs> Which isn't yeah. a bad thing to say because I couldn't yeah. say anything bad about it. But I, I, I don't regret watching it. I, there are musicals I like more, but there but some have said some have said musicals I like more because they have sentimental value attached to them. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I I have seen I've seen it now many times, mm-hmm. uh, and now have actually seen a live staged version, um, and it because it's in that very interesting set style that they're doing right yes Where it's i love it's the that, uh circle that is right, one thing it, i did like it, it's that balcony and those couple of modular mm-hmm. stairs uh-huh. and then if they need a chair in the scene they just throw a chair in there into the middle if yeah. they need a table two guys just run out there and drop a table and, mm. le- and leave it on there for five seconds while somebody writes something and then they pull it off <laughs> um uh, because of that and because your story is expanding over the entire lifetime, uh, you know, short, short lifetime, I guess, but a really good chunk of years where a lot of stuff happens. Yeah, I, I, I do feel like I actually learned a lot of stuff from that. <laughs> yeah, and I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I, I know I've, I know I've seen some things of how it's not like you know don't. Like Lin Manuel took some liberties. Don't, well, of course. Don't don't treat it as historical gospel kind of thing. But um, uh, yeah, because it's doing all of because it has to do all of that in that space. I've almost begun to look at it as, I mean, it is a musical, obviously. Yes. But is it a musical like Little Shop of Horrors is a musical? Or is it more of like a showcasing of songs? Or like a, a showcasing It's kind of, of like a musical in the sense that, well, I haven't seen it live, but based on the movie I've seen of it, it's kind of a musical in the sense that Phantom of the Opera is, where it's damn near an opera because it's almost all sang. Right. Yeah. Even even things that are spoken are spoken to a rhythm. Yeah, they're even spoken to the rhythm with the whole rhythm, rap and stuff. Yeah. Rapping all mm-hmm. the time. But like even yeah. just in normal sentences yeah. it's rhythmic. Yeah, there's very little time when music's not playing or whatever. And I think those spoken word moments, if you will, um, I think those are the only things that make them call it a musical instead of like an opera of some sort. But mm-hmm. I, I'll give it as closer to a showcase of song. It's closer to that than it is a Little Shop of Horrors or a Guys and Dolls or, you know, your traditional. Let's have conversations like real people. And then, you know, oh, wait, I feel a song coming on. <laughs> <laughs> right. So it's hard to get a lot of, I, I don't know, I guess a, a plot in in there or like, you know, story is your. You yeah. Know, are st- the stories are coming through the are literally coming through the songs, and uh, where usually that's kind of I I don't know well I don't want to say usually but I want to say that uh, emotion is normally coming from the songs and then we're getting the story and the plot mm. in the dialogue. Yeah, no, that's in, like, pretty much shop of horrors. That's that's a very good way to put that because yeah, the story comes into like dialogue and then the emotion, how people are feeling in a certain uh, situation or why they are about to make a life changing decision. Mm -hmm. Should I start feeding people to this plant? Just whole ass people. Well, it makes a good argument. (laughs) Very obvious that we both enjoy little shop. (laughs) It's the only one I keep referencing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well it makes a good argument you know and you know i love the theater but i am not a crazy musical person either same because i don't play an instrument and i do not sing very well so as growing up in high school an actor anytime it came time for <laughs> musical auditions it's like well fuck this shit <laughs> like, <laughs> all right time yeah. for me normally contending for like first or second supporting role uh now i'm uh, relegated to uh crowd work uh maybe tech awesome not that you know that sounds probably 
petty or something, but you know, it's high school. Yeah, and you want to high you school do is the petty. theater. Yeah, high school is and, petty, and, so, and some of us were some of us were, were were very petty in high school. Myself mainly, I, I was I was quite petty. Might as well have changed my name to Tom. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> so um for me uh, i just uh, this this thing hamilton although it is it is great mm -hmm. you know all the props to lin-manuel miranda constructing this conceiving of it thinking of it making it happen getting it on broadway all of those things probably had to be so challenging but for me this show this movie is about the individual performances from actors leslie odom jr as aaron burr number one on 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 my thing renee elise goldsberry as angelica yes skyler incredible like the fact that i did not that this that this show taught me about those two and as as mentioned before jonathan groff is king george gabby <laughs> diggs is lafayette yeah that Thomas guy was Jefferson. awesome um i really enjoy him sometimes i think he's a little scene steely a, a little <laughs> bit of a focus puller kind of hard not in, to be in, in in a selfish selfishy way in a selfishy way probably but it's also just given his roles it also kind of feels like it invites that. No, yeah, because, because he's so charismatic, mm -hmm. and he's and when he's just, yeah, when Thomas Jefferson shows up, they leader they literally treat it like focus on this motherfucker right here. <laughs> right. No, I know, I know. I, so I, I hear I can't, you. Uh, you know, I I I can't pull up a, the specific oh. moments that I'm thinking of. I want to say it happens in the room where it happens, um, uh, where there's just a couple of moments where he. Where I feel like he pulls music for an easy joke, yeah, or he pulls focus for an easy joke. For an I could see joke. that, and and uh, th okay. but that may not be against him. He may have been directed to do that or written to do that. I'm also, not necessarily true. saying that, no. but you know, this is they've also been pretty upfront. Like Lin Manuel Miranda has been pretty upfront about. Yes, he wrote this, but there was all of these original actors really developed these roles and these songs with Lynn and added, you know, and, and every one of those actors has put their little touch into mm -hmm. that. Like I saw a thing about changed. the King George thing where he came up with the weird walk he does when he comes out primarily like, like he did it in a way that fit like his take on the character, but mm -hmm. It also was to balance the fucking crown he has on his head so it doesn't fall off. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, that's pretty funny. <laughs> but it's like, let me work this into the character. And I saw someone talking about, like, with those King George moments, the fact that he chooses to, as opposed to usually when you talk to an audience, you look all around, he chooses moments like set people to talk to when he's, like, saying that stuff, like, you know. I will kill your friends and family <laughs> to remind you of my love. <laughs> da 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 <laughs> you're, you're missing. You're missing that one key element in your recreation of mine. Does this this? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice that till a rewatch, but yeah. And oh, oh, change the subject. There is. There were all kinds of memes. There was all kinds of memes going around. I learned oh about that seeing a thing last night. I'm like, oh Jesus! I didn't, I don't know why I didn't notice that the first time. I, all I see is that now. Just, blah. I believe Jesus. I've seen an interview where he claims it's not intentional or any. It's just what. It's just what hap What happens with the way he wants to sing the song and not holding back at all? And if he wants to not hold back at all. There's going to be some moisture coming out of there. Well, well, someone also said it, there was also like rumors that when the dude did go mad, he would occasionally like froth at the mouth and stuff. So it's like well, that helps yeah, the that's image. Why, <laughs> that's why I think he always gets questions of it being intentional. 
uh, because they th they want to know if they're specifically pointing to that, mm -hmm. and and he he says no. It's not like he's like yeah taking a huge guzzle of water right? and like and holding, like, it, holding it, in it in his mouth. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm like I, I'm like that's just skill in itself. If you can hit those notes and sing like that without like swallowing any of the water or having it come <laughs> up at a specific lines. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, through the majority, my, like my first watching of this, um, uh, Eliza Hamilton played by Philippa Sue, you get about 70% into the movie and you're thinking, okay, yeah, I guess she, yep. Yeah, you know, cool. <laughs> yeah, <Cool. laughs> pretty much. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, that's 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 a sweet little pop song thing. <laughs> That'll be okay. enough. Uh huh. <laughs> and then the song "Burn" happens. Yes. And boy, does she kill it! Oh, she, she did it great. In that song. Um. Uh. And that's what I and that's what I keep coming back to are just these, just these moments of like. Yeah, her. You mentioned Angelica. Her fucking solo thing when she like stopped that other song that girl was doing, and she's like, "No, the let second me tell time, you. the second time Ooh. Angelica sings to your union in that song is one of the most powerful things I have ever seen." Yeah, she like, was. It, that list may be a big list because there's no way to start breaking those things up, but for an actor to do something that is one of the that that may be the moment of this show the amount of emotion and heart and obvious skill and talent in her vocals um uh in that song culminating in that moment <laughs> it, it was it was fantastic i was like jesus that was awesome um but uh, well, real quick with the King George thing, when he first came out and did his first song, I remember I typed it. It was one of the first things where I was like, oh, yeah, I need to take notes down of things I like in this. Because mm. uh, <laughs> I had liked, you're taking notes. Yeah, yeah I had awesome. liked other stuff. And I was like, what did I like? Oh, okay. And the first thing I have on here is I'm going to oh, I technically put I'm a. I'm going to need King George to only do I'm solos. Need, I'm going to need. I'm going I'm I'm to need. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm going to need King George to only come out and do solos like this. For one, <laughs> I think that would be hilarious. I'm like, because I'm thinking, I'm like, okay, this is literally just an introductory song. He's going to sail over something because my dumb ass doesn't know history. <laughs> That was the other thing going in yeah, here. No. Uh so I'm like, so he's gonna sail over here and interact with the cast at some point. So he's doing this thing and but it'd be funny if all he does is just come out and give us like status updates. And then mm -hmm. sure enough he came back out the second time. You know, I'd been drinking a little bit while watching it and enjoying it, and I was just like, Yeah. <laughs> I was He's right. The only breather that those poor fucking actors get, yeah, in that show, like even the, the like those people running around carrying chairs all over the place. And, like, the one girl that has so to come out during the third chairs. song, which I like. Oh yeah, like, or that slow motion bullets. Yeah, or the, you know, uh, you know, they consider that that's that's a character in the show, uh, named named Bullet or named the Bullet. Oh, nice, good, yeah. good. There's a lot of time on stage. And you're <laughs> right. Like the hurric the song where they're talking about like being in a hurricane or whatever, and everyone just he has yeah. a one girl like slowly <laughs> rolling on the ground to try and make sure that it passed over, and I'm just like A lot of really interesting. Like I I set love work. I I that's one thing I will commend it for. Like I said, like, the that, circular that stage and box? using that. Would, would that be black box style? I don't know. Elevated black box. I, I, <laughs> maybe, you know, maybe we haven't been to we haven't been to theater class in a long time. <laughs> I hadn't been to a lot of classes now. And it's it, like black box, black box. You're just dressed in black. Everything's yeah. black. Yeah. Everything we're pretending. We're, um, you're you're gonna you guys are gonna pretend I'm in costume. I'm gonna pretend I'm holding a candle. <laughs> exactly. Um, 
and speaking of me not knowing history, for a guy who at one point memorized and had it memorized for a while, and I guess if I played it, I could sing along with it, the fucking Adamaniacs president song. So uh-huh. in my head is the list of every president of the United States in order. I keep forgetting Alexander Hamilton's not one of those motherfuckers. And because I was like, so when does he become president? Oh, is he going <laughs> to? I think that's why I thought King George was like going to interact with him once he becomes president. I like, so once he becomes president. But wait, which president is he? Because he couldn't be. Was he never president? <laughs> it was like, nope. Okay. Never going to be president now. No. And he wasn't. Because of the fool that shot him. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't want to. I don't want this to go by without specifically mentioning Leslie Odom Jr. again. I can't mention him enough. That guy, uh, it's so great. Um, his song "Wait for It" is incredible, powerful. Uh, I've only heard one person, uh, a, a a mutual friend of ours, compare it to the gospel music that he's always heard okay um uh growing up and that makes as soon as he said it it was like oh yeah it's a gospel song and it's it's beautiful um uh and then his song that he shares with lynn uh to their children to open up the second act Mm -hmm. or is that to close the first act i think it's to open the second Okay. Where he talks about Theodosia. Um, yeah. Okay. It took me a second to realize he was talking about his kid too. Yeah, they were both looking at their babies. Yeah, I, 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 as I put that together as the song went on at first, because Aaron Burr, by character design, kept a lot of his shit close to his chest and didn't tell you much. He told you enough to for the plot, but mm-hmm. for the most part, you don't know what this is thinking, and that's mainly what uh. Hamilton's like the whole time, like, what are you about? What, right. what are you about? I'm about what I'm about, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm about getting, getting that. I I, I want to be in the room where it happens. But why though? Uh, that's like that's like a jazz song, and like there's a like that whole song is incredible. Hmm. But there's a moment where they are he's dancing in the front and doing his thing. And behind him, they're clearing off the table that uh, that he's about ready to dance on. Yeah. He's about ready to jump on and do a very quick little dance before jumping off again. Um, and so all, Leslie Odom Jr. just has to go from front of stage to behind the table. Yeah. I have watched now three other, I think... Uh, Aaron Burr's play Aaron Burr. I, I've seen a little bit of the uh, uh, a different Broadway cast, like after the original cast, uh, like a little bit of a video thing. I've seen the one in London that they put up right okay. after the musical got popular. And then I just saw the one here uh, in St. Louis at the Fox. All three of those Aaron Burr's just quickly move from front of the stage to behind the table. If you haven't noticed it yet or watch it again, Leslie Odom Jr. does this fucking dance move with his leg to to instigate the turn that is just, I don't know, it's just yeah. incredible. He's just an incredible performer. That, he's so that, good. Yeah. Yeah. He's so he's, good. He's very, he's very, very good. Um, like, there's a reason he's, <laughs> there's a reason they use him in the promotional like work yeah, he, artwork well, he for won this. The Tony. He won the Tony as well, deservedly so. For best actor, because he also um, he also could sing his ass off too, which I believe you were mentioning that about Hamilton, like the guy that played Hamilton is like great actor and everything not necessarily the best yeah i mean you know like yeah i don't want to because that's how i agree 
like I'm not saying he's bad. Yeah, I don't want to go. I don't want to go throwing shade or anything. But like, I don't know if Lin Manuel Miranda <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't agree with me or not. But I don't know if Lin Manuel Miranda is starring as the lead actor in a Broadway musical if he didn't write said Broadway. Oh, musical. he wrote it. Okay. Yeah. 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 He wrote the words. He wrote the lyrics. He wrote the music. Yeah. No. Uh, that and and I agree with you. That's all I'm saying. And again, also not throwing shade. I'm saying I noticed that as I was watching because there was there was a few songs where I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I can't. I don't think I wrote them because I think I only wrote things I liked because I couldn't think of anything I really hated. Because again, while not the best, he got outshone by the majority of this cast. I mean, yeah, there's the the cast is just so powerful. It's just so powerful. Renee, Renee Elise Goldsberry as Angelica also won the Tony for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, I believe her and Leslie Odom Jr. were um, were in the original run of Rent. Oh, uh, okay. As like young little little teenagers. Um, so they they uh, so legends. They've been legends. in this game. Yeah, they've been <laughs> in that Broadway game forever, and this is kind of the thing that has finally elevated them to a bigger audience yeah um uh and yeah i think both of them have been just getting film and tv work nonstop since since this guy since this dropped on on disney plus yeah they oh my god they did good also another character i liked even though he got outshone by a lot of people in there but like i said i liked everybody shout outs to the guy that played Hercules Mulligan Mulligan all right so and and James Madison and and James Madison I remember yeah. yesterday I was talking to some friends that had seen it and I was like yeah they had to do it and that one guy that played James Madison and his other character uh Godzilla Jones or something <laughs> and they were like there's not Godzilla Jones but it should be <laughs> I'm like yeah I'm like what was his name oh Hercules Mulligan okay I wasn't that far off <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna throw his name in the chat here and see if you want to give it a try. All right. Okieriete Onaldoan. Something along those lines. I like lines. that. I like that. that <laughs> Something right. along those lines. That sounded like it could be right. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I was I, it, Godzilla I, you Jones. Hey, and I think I was just gonna go T. Okieret. Okieret. Oh. And then and then oh I, I I wasn't my my tongue kept wrestling with itself every time I tried to think of Well, you saw me take a second before I started saying the last thing of like <laughs> aha uh, <laughs> now the one. <laughs> yeah. Sure. So yes, he played Hercules, Mulligan, and James Madison, and like you said, one of the smaller speaking parts but did a great job him um uh, uh uh anthony ramos who recently starred in in the heights did a really good job in that uh there's i think there's a rumor that he's going to be a uh, marvel superhero here soon Ooh. in the mcu um so uh, uh he also did a really great job as john lawrence and Oh yeah, Philip, that guy, Philip Hamilton. Mm. And then, um, uh, while we're talking about supporting cast, Jasmine Cephas Jones played Peggy Schuyler, and also Maria yeah. Reynolds, the woman mm. that Hamilton has an affair with. There's a lot she of double not, role playing. She, she she gets she gets a couple of comedic lines as Peggy, yeah, and is mostly just singing chorus work. Mm. Uh, but then as Maria Reynolds, she gets uh, that affair song that is very powerful. She's a very, very good singer and, and does that song very well. I agree. I agree. Like that, and like, and that's what I'm saying. I enjoyed, enjoyed it a lot. I get, that's why I was saying earlier, like, I understand why it got as, as ridiculously hyped as it was, mm -hmm. but I, I knew because I waited too long to see it before it got to that level 
I was like, I'm too trained to tell myself to temper my expectations. And so the better I keep hearing something is that I haven't seen, the more I'm like, oh, no, it ain't that good. Do you have a, is there a moment that you would point to or or, or song? All right. So songs I liked. We've mentioned, um, sorry, let me come here. Oh yeah, we mentioned you know the King George songs. There was a, there was a first the first big song at the beginning, uh, not the I think it's not throwing away my shot with like that stuff. I liked it because you had like all the other people coming in saying all their stuff about them. The wait for it we mentioned nonstop. I I love those kind of things. The fucking hey, here's every song you've heard so far, all put into one song, but it yeah. makes sense. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love it when plays can do that and they pull it off, and it and they did it wonderfully with that one. Room where it happens, we mentioned. Uh, I think I said ten dual commandments. There was the the debates where they just literally oh, yeah. just have a straight up rap battle where yeah, again i could kind of yeah and again i could kind of see what's his name thomas jefferson just <laughs> being a little bit extra on the thing but i also feel like i'm sorry man dude's just better than you at the <laughs> battle rap <laughs> like that's how i felt i'm like oh you just go buddy. <laughs> changing your lighting situation i hear you um what is it though? Yeah, it just I can't. Uh, obedient servant. There, there's a song where they start talking about obedient servants. I don't remember the actual name of the song. Oh, that's that's where they decide to have. Um, they decide to have the final duel. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I I I like those kind of things too. The fucking back and forth. This is my letter to you. Oh, yeah, bitch? <laughs> well, this is what I say. How about that? Well, fuck you. Okay, we shoot. <laughs> yeah, this is the song. <laughs> Enough said, mother. And then at the end of the day, he threw away a shot. <laughs> I am, he did. He threw away his shot. And I'm not going to lie. When I first heard that first i'm not throwing away my shot song i'm like is this some kind of play on him getting shot at the end there's gotta be some or they just saying haha he's saying he's not throwing away his shot and eventually Aaron burr's like yeah me neither motherfucker and shoots him uh, <laughs> <laughs> Aaron burr's not throwing away his shot i waited too damn long for this um uh, Shit. Yeah, I shot him. You want to know the room where it happens? No one else was there. <laughs> so that I could, you could make it be a totally different murder scene have than what it was. Turn back so he can have deniability. <laughs> I, 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 that's what I'm saying. I, I, the rhythm of it and all. I because it wasn't the take on it. I thought it would be where i mentioned where it's like what if this was just this but black you know let's, what if we did history but we put a black spin on it mm-hmm. or you know let's focus on certain i don't know what to expect or especially once i like looked at it, it was like okay aaron burr's not black so it's not like he was a black man that was dealt wrong by racism and said fuck you alexander hamilton uh, like because there was a lot of things i because I didn't bother going back and actually just going, what's the deal with Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr? But I love, oh, George Washington's debut coming in on there. I liked his, I liked George Washington when he came out, but they, again, like Thomas Jefferson, they made him out to be like yeah, that no, dude. Yeah, they make him, uh, yeah, God figure. Yeah. Which, which really. Uh, his exit song is really great too. Oh, yeah, which really, like, when I think about history and stuff like that and making history that's one of the things that that's all i can think of like damn this is this is what being the first president of a country gets you 
It's mm-hmm. really fucking hard to down talk you years down the line because you were just that dude. And even though he did have more faults, I knew more of George Washington's faults with him as a character or as a person from this one play that I've ever heard in my life. Because, <laughs> you know, Mr. I can't tell a lie. Yeah, I chopped mm-hmm. down that cherry tree and I'll chop you down <laughs> too. You know, <laughs> it's like... All right, George Washington, and it comes out, and it's like, oh, it's gonna be one of these depictions of him, and it's like, oh no, he's an actual like dude, but yeah, he, he's a dude, I'm just trying to win a war. And he, and they, and they make him make him run the run the whole thing, <laughs> and he's like, all right, and they're like, must be good to have Washington in your pocket. <laughs> just everyone back there, oh yeah, sure, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, with, the, the, with that dude. Right, yeah. <laughs> just, just a, few, a, a few addendum things. Go ahead. Uh, um, that you you could watch if you wanted to. Um, uh, if you haven't already watched them, I think you mentioned you saw a video about Groff and, and, the, and the walking thing, so you may have already seen some of these, but um, a couple of things that are really great. Uh, Lin Manuel Miranda did a drunk history. Ooh, uh, I think before, like e- either it was definitely before this came out on Disney Plus, um, but it may have even been prior to the Broadway, the Broadway release, the Broadway run, um, uh, at, where he talks about Alexander Hamilton, and that's accessible and that's real fun. Um, I need to uh, check that out. That sounds hilarious. Uh, yeah, all all the memes and and video <laughs> comedy pieces about Groff and and his wet singing are. Hilarious. Yeah, I just saw like one particular dude that just <laughs> he had to like edit it to just be like a bunch of water. Like, no, don't change the subject. <laughs> you know, he was already gone. From he was the only member who was already gone from the original cast, mm. and. uh uh, he had already moved on, and the actor who took his place had to sit out for like two weeks while Groff came back and did the performance. I believe they did, if I want, if I remember correctly, I want to say they did three audience filmed film three audience performances and did two just straight performances with no audience and then did an entire day of like camera on the stage doing specific shots that they wanted to have done that's that's cool and they hodgepodge it all into one Mm -hmm. solid run of the show like lin Lin manuel miranda one of his goals was to make it the best filmed staged thing ever like just technically like he's like nobody ever he's always pissed that nobody puts in the the same amount of effort to to film it well and i I will give it because i cannot think in that aspect of it i will give it that as far as i know he succeeded (laughs) that was damn good i was like damn they i'm like this original broadway cast was on they shit this night they they ain't (laughs) mess up a damn thing you know (laughs) I'm like, what if you mess up on a night like this? What happens? What if he took a weird step and the crown fell off? You know, <laughs> if it was hard to balance, you know, those kind of mm-hmm. things. But yeah, I guess that makes more sense that they use multiple takes and multiple performances to get the best version possible. Yeah. And he did, he did it. And I can always. And then, and then another thing on YouTube. One more thing on YouTube. Um, in. Barack Obama's final week as president of the United States. Okay. The 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 entire cast, the original cast of Hamilton visited the White House Ooh. and did some performances. And there is a video of George Washington singing his goodbye song three feet away from Barack Obama who is about ready to leave after serving eight years as president and handing it over to Donald Trump. That the, 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 you can feel 
the emotion in that room through that that YouTube video. It's it's very powerful. Um, yeah, that was the other thing. So, people not like John Adams. <laughs> Because I just thought about the George Washington treatment and the Thomas Jefferson treatment in hell. James Madison was like, he cool too. John Adams, old main mention that we got of him was like, he ain't important enough to be in the play. And King George just being like, doing his Stewie impression. John Adams. <laughs> I know he him. Was, uh... He's a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, he's kind of like a he's he's kind of like the basic basic bitch of that, of that boys club <laughs> apparently a little bit like uh if you want to go even deep diver i haven't watched it in a long time um but uh hbo did i think a four-part mini series on john john adams i just thought it was funny like that's the main thing we get from him because i was just talking about like yeah, this is what being the first gets you <laughs> like you were a legend and then i'm like wait John Adams just kind of got like <laughs> ignored, and he was just, like right after. Right no one cares right. about second place. Uh, w- one <laughs> thing about John Adams that you can say about him is uh, he is the only founding father that you cannot connect to uh, using, profiting, uh, taking advantage of slavery. Uh, really that that's his one that's his one badge of honor that you can put on him okay um uh uh, he's from like the massachusetts area i think but yeah paul giamatti played john john adams in this hbo show years ago um and it just covers and yeah he's just kind of a basic bitch like he's just kind of a farmer that's kind of uh, cool, though, that he's the one pounding father you can't so connect to slavery at all. No, yeah. Because even like Alexander Hamilton, um, I don't know. It's not mentioned specifically in the musical, I don't think. No. But Philip Schuyler had a bunch of slaves. Ah, okay. The property that they go to for the summer has slaves on it. Gotcha. Um, uh, and so that's that. that would be Hamilton's connection. And he definitely profited and adva- and received advantages through that uh, system. Yeah. So that is the one thing you can say about John Adams. That's why he was that, marrying. So that's why those daughters were so rich. Right. No. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, but I was like, who the fuck are these ladies? I think, I think <laughs> the John Adams. It was just like he was in Massachusetts. He was a farmer. He was pretty near the coast. And he was one of the first people to ride to the Capitol, which was at that time in New York, mm-hmm. and and be like, it, and have somewhat of a respectable family and name to get into the right circles to be like, hey, the British are being a nuisance on the coastline. Like they're, like it's getting really fucking difficult. And then he just kind of accidentally falls into being our ambassador to England during the gotcha revolution beginning of d- during the revolution uh and when that's all over and he comes back it's almost done as a like it, we all know George Washington is going to be president but somebody has to run against him yeah and so John Adams is like, all right, I guess I will. And then they they kind of figure out as it's happening of like, oh, well, yeah, the guy who loses is going to be vice president too. And then there's no established jobs for the president to do. So he ends up just kind of like, I think that's an entire episode of this miniseries. is him <laughs> just kind of mulling around the White House <laughs> or whatever the Capitol building is at that time. And just like, I don't have anything to do. At one point, he suggests calling us uh, that we have to say, Your Highness, the President. Uh, he tries to make it like an official declaration in Congress. And yeah. they all like laugh at him and kick him out. <laughs> so that's John Adams. But yeah, nobody likes him. <laughs> <laughs> at least he has that one good knock to him. Or one yeah, good I trick. think apparently that dis- that uh, uh, there's there's like, that's another YouTube video you can find is the uncut diss song that hamilton does 
before before sit down you fat mother <laughs> and throws the book down there's like a good 30 second diss rap that he wrote that they decided to cut out <laughs> yeah because they do just say like, like john adams and he's just like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> i also like just thomas jefferson when they when he wins everybody's like all right buddy we did it now fuck that shit that's stupid what <laughs> like damn Poor Aaron Burr. Yeah, I can see why he got mad. He's like, all right, no. All right, y'all just decide when this finally happens. You're like, nah, get out of here. You just, but uh, Thomas Jefferson made sense too. He's like, you literally just ran against me as hard as you could, and I'm supposed to, are we supposed to work together now? Nah, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm interested to know about that, which I haven't, I've never investigated, but the, me whole, neither. the whole claim that he's basically the first one to campaign ever. Like, what is that? Like, I guess because before then it was just like, all right, well, we all know George Washington is going to do it. Like, just let <laughs> yeah. him do it. And then his name gets written on a piece of paper. And then six weeks later, George Washington is told that he's president. <laughs> and then George Washington steps down and everybody's like, all right, well, John Adams. Uh, you were vice Adams, president. You might right. as well. And then Thomas Jefferson runs against John Adams. And so I guess it's just like. They know their name is getting written on a piece of paper, and then six weeks later, Thomas Jefferson's told, "Hey, by the way, you're not the president. You didn't win. John Adams won." Yeah, Yeah, especially with the voting systems back then. Just like, yeah, six weeks later, like, hey, by the way, this happened. Right, (laughs) right toward the. You've been president for like three weeks. It may have still been Congress voting at that point. Also true. I don't know if we were voting on on we yes you and i (laughs) i cast my vote for aaron bird um 200 years early i just have a beer with that guy yeah uh uh, but at the end of the day i kind of understood what it was kind of rude when hamilton's like i choose jefferson he's like wait you you you've never liked Jefferson. He's like, yeah, but I know I don't like him. You've been a question mark <laughs> literally my whole life, so I, I can't trust a guy I can't even hate. <laughs> like I'm like, I can see why Aaron Burr's pissed because he's like, we've been at the very least neutral. <laughs> but mm-hmm. it also made sense why you why at the beginning when he's like, talk less smile boys like and Hamilton's like nah that's stupid you gotta stop <laughs> yeah it's like it, Bird but, is kind of the first poli- the first like the proto politician mm. that we would come to know for and he time. lost and no okay. one learned from that <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah um I believe there was one thing where you been, where there was a thought of like right what, so yeah you and I are both actors yeah we have been I mean we're not actively acting some would say we're doing it every day of our lives right y'all know me people at work don't know me right no um uh we've both been actors and I just wanted to know what what role would you see yourself in and why is it king george <laughs> partially because he just stands center in front of everybody but <laughs> and, it's, and, and it's easy you, you it's, it's, chill it's, backstage it's, yeah it's easy you get the big spotlight, spotlight. you yeah. are like for whatever reason the crowd always loses they shit when you come out like <laughs> I knew he was going to be up to some shit when they just. (laughs) Oh, man. uh, In the audience, like, giant velvet roll, jewels everywhere on the crown. There's two or three spotlights on him. He is just fucking exploding with light and bedazzle and and luxury like it looks like the most rich costume yes as an attention whore that is a very um you know optimal role however um 
in December when my I told you my sister had mentioned Hamilton to me, and she was saying it because she was like, I feel like that main black dude, like maybe you could you couldn't do like as good, you know, you can't sing necessarily as good as him, but if you were playing, I'd see him as you. So she kind of painted Aaron Burr in my image in her head. So I'm watching it and being a African American individual with not as much hair as other African American individuals. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying. I was like, yeah, I could kind of see myself with this role. I don't know. I'm not saying I would outdo Leslie Odom. Leslie Odom, I would not outdo uh, him. But I would. That that's a that looks like it would be a good role because I do like the big roles as well. Well, I guess yeah. King George is a big role. He's probably my second or third favorite character in that whole thing <laughs> and it's been the main song stuck in my head the past two days oh i mean primarily yeah, because of the da 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 yeah, like that, the second that, that, that happens it's like earworm. all right yeah. yep it's literally designed to be one i think that was the other problem i had with it there weren't as many songs that were as earwormy there's a great a lot of great songs yeah i don't know what the hell i was talking about there's a lot of great songs and I've been listening to a lot of them on repeat the past few days. We've gone over what great songs are here, you know, not so I'll play for it, whatever. But not necessarily, like, I listen to Little Shop of Horror soundtrack. I'm singing, like, any of those songs for, like, the next week. Well, not any, but you get my point, like, numerous oh, ones. Yeah. But I also, lots of sentimental value attached to it. <laughs> but no, it, I, those would be the two. Hamilton... I think there were a couple songs where I was like, I ain't the best singer. But when I was talking about the ones where I was like, okay, his singing could be better. I'm like, I probably could have sang that particular song. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> you know, not, not and again. No, yeah. Great act. He, the acting, he's mostly, he's the mostly acting he did and singing. the directing clearly. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, so, But I wouldn't necessarily want to be Hamilton. I like the Aaron Burr role because primarily angry, you know, envious, sad when he needs to be. But for the most part, you know, wears his emotions on his sleeve to the audience. I, I like that kind of role. Yeah. And so that's why I, I, I mainly was considering Aaron Burr. But close second, yes, King George, because... That's a heavy task. Spotlight. That's a heavy. That's a heavy task. It is, but I would still. But you've done some. You've done some leads. Yeah, you've done some leads. I have, I have, and it. I've done a lead in a musical. I did a co-lead in a musical. Yeah, and guys and dolls. Based in Detroit. Yeah, uh, that that that's part of the reason. Like I was saying, like we met, and that's where we really bonded, like with the acting thing, because yeah. we were acquaintances and still on good terms and stuff, but. <clears throat> I guess real quick story. Um, the day of that audition, because I decided to go to that audition on a whim. I'm like, I did acting once in second grade. Mom, can I go to the audition for this thing at school? Oh, you want to? Yeah, no, why you not? Can't. <laughs> She's like, Oh, you want to? Yeah, why not? And up to this point, everything I had tried to do as a hobby and or potential future career path, I quit after like two weeks. Like yeah. <laughs> Boy Scouts. That's not. A, that's more of a hobby, but band any sport i picked up uh <laughs> i quit after two weeks but i'm like yeah, i want to do this so day comes an audition wake up sore throat and i gotta sing for a musical and at the time i uh, could not hit anything above a certain octave so i get up there and it's time to sing the thing and it was the song guys and dolls you know when you see a guy blah 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 and i'm like okay well i gotta do something <clears throat> when you see a guy reach for stars in the sky, you can bet that he's doing it for some doll. <laughs> and I was like, and I immediately left the room and went to like the bathroom because I was embarrassed. <laughs> but I remember it's like you and uh, Zep Z, your buddy at the time. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. You and him were like, did you expect that? At <laughs> like hey <laughs> man and i was like wait 
You guys think I did good with that? <laughs> I was just, I was so embarrassed, but we all ended up being involved in that play. Mm-hmm. And I feel, I'm not sure if the two of you were as passionate about acting before that or the entertainment field, but I know that's where the whole, I realize, yep, yeah, this is the career for me. Uh, no, yeah, I, um, at that point, it was just something to do with with after school with, mm-hmm. with you guys. Uh, initially with John, yeah. and because I was in choir and I was in the CK Singers, and I I can blend into a choir. I or I don't know if I could do that now, Maybe. but then, <clears throat> but then I could. But I'm never. Don't ever ask me to do a solo or anything. Fair. Um, uh, and so you know the 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 choir teacher was you know co-directing the play or something like that. He was obviously involved somewhat in the music or something, uh, and so he was heavily encouraging of the auditions. Uh, and then, yeah, you coming along was just a bonus because we were already having lunch at that point, right? Uh, we definitely. It was you, me. We might have been e. having e. lunch, but I feel like over the course of Guys and Dolls and hanging out more outside of just like lunch, mm-hmm. like solidified this into like, yeah, this is a friendship as opposed to more of a, hey, here's that weird guy with the ugly power signs. But yeah, <laughs> acting acting for me didn't even, and we're getting, continuing down this t- tangent, but uh, Why not? acting for me didn't really happen uh, until my mother forced me to go to the freshman one act auditions. Okay. Uh, well, they're not the freshman. They're the they're when the, you were a freshman. One act, you were a freshman. The one act at McClure North yeah. when I was a freshman. Yeah. So uh, and she kind of forced me to go uh, because of I think my enjoyable experience even just having i i come on stage twice in guys and dolls i don't as the mc of adelaide's yes uh, adelaide's club and i introduce adelaide twice and i think i think that's i think that's my bit um uh but yeah because of that mom was like well you gotta end I my big thing was karate and uh Kyle Ormsby was at my karate school and it was somehow like their mom his mom talked to my mom about how Kyle was into acting at school okay. and so my mom was like well you know Kyle go <laughs> <laughs> no and then I did, and then I, I obviously I auditioned. I got cast in a play. I loved it. Amazing experience. You got to test it out. You know, got to test out the acting experience. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hamilton. Thumbs right. Up. So go yeah, watch it. We'll go. We'll go back to <laughs> go Hamilton. Watch it. <laughs> you, you obviously, yeah, you obviously didn't enjoy it. Uh, Why and and you we, we may have touched on it a little bit just because of like the the like I said the, the 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 elevator pitch of it's a rapping musical about the founding fathers. Oh, um, is that why you hadn't watched it up until that? Now? That's another thing. Yeah, it's like that that kind of elevator pitch of like oh okay hey there urban youth you like the rap music <laughs> don't you? Yeah. There's a lot of times where the, the, I see, I, I feel, yeah, exactly, where I feel, <laughs> the Captain America so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's a lot of times where I will feel like I'm being targeted at with an ad. Like, obviously, all ads target people. But sure. there are times where I feel specifically targeted for like the lowest common denominator thing. It usually happens with like fiction. Or, well, obviously with fiction, but like usually those kind of things where it's like, hey, how do we make this appeal to black people? Cast black people and make it rap a lot. 
That'll get the wha- that'll get the black people watching. <laughs> More black people and rap music. So you see, you know, Hamilton, the main person you see is rightfully so Leslie Odom. And you're like, okay, so what if Hamilton was black as a rapping musical? Okay. Um I yeah, so that's what I was like. Okay, yeah. no, I refuse. Okay, <laughs> I know what you're trying to do, and I don't like it. But the mm-hmm. worst part about like, I'm not gonna say it every time because a lot of the times that I end up trying out those things where I feel targeted, at, I'm like, yeah, I'm not into it. But there, there have also been a good number of times where I'm like, let's see what you're doing. I'm not playing your game. And next thing I know, yeah, it's the reason I like it. <laughs> yeah because that's turns exactly out was, what turns is. out it was made for me god damn it god damn it they were right <laughs> yeah uh, less than a year less than a year before i saw hamilton on disney plus and absolutely loved it i walked out of my work and uh glanced in the back seat of the customer service manager a late 40s early 50s white male customer service manager um glanced in his back seat and noticed the cd of the hamilton original broadway cast recording and i scoffed and rolled my eyes (laughs) less than a year before and then i watched hamilton and was like oh yeah all right this is awesome (laughs) yeah it was like okay i get it okay yeah (laughs) all right all right it's not it's not the best thing ever but right ain't bad either yeah and i don't know and i I thoroughly enjoyed it like i said is there anything that you enjoyed in the pandemic that you uh you wonder if you enjoyed more because of the pandemic isolation all of that kind of shit that came along with it I built up a routine every day at a point where I would watch more. I guess I watched more sports related stuff. Ironic because there was less sports related stuff happening. But (laughs) I would watch Undisputed uh, with Skip and Shannon, or Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. And then follow that up by watching the Pat McAfee show for the next three hours. Eventually exercising and then i would and then i would stream and or just watch random youtube videos oh i i dug even deeper into rabbit hole if it wasn't anything new because i hadn't really been watching i had watched skip bayless related stuff on and off for years but Mm -hmm. pat mcafee i got introduced to pat mcafee proper during that time uh and became like a fan of you know him as a you know he's cool he's a cool dude yeah um i guess that'd be the main new thing because otherwise i just dug deeper into things i already liked and enjoyed like you know anime and stuff like one piece and stuff like that i eventually not so much during the first year or at least till later in the first year because i spent too much time being just wake up what's there to do today who cares Cause I'm yeah. gonna take my two weeks. Eventually, I gotta go back to work anyway. Oh, I didn't have to go back to work. Eh. And by the time I was like, "Screw it! If I'm not going to work, if I'm not going back to work anytime soon, let me start streaming and stuff again." And then write what I decided to do. That they're like, "Hey, you come back to work next week." <laughs> I'm like, "Damn it! I could have had a consistent schedule," which is why last year I did because I ended up being without job for reasons. I was like, every day in 2021, I'm going to stream at least a little bit. And I did. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then have not shri- and did pretty much did the opposite this year. Because <laughs> I finally broke. Because I, I went like the first week of January and I purposely stopped. Because I'm like, I've, I've, I've already done like seven days in a row. Oh, no, I need to stop on purpose, regardless of whether or not I have free time tomorrow, because I know the next thing I know, I'm going to blink. It's going to be February, and I'm going to be like, (laughs) I've already gone a month. (laughs) Let's see if we can make it two years. (laughs) 
<laughs> but that was the pandemic for me was just more mundanity. I didn't get Disney Plus till this past December. That's the main reason why I didn't dive into more things like your Hamiltons. I didn't really have access to a big streaming service. I would just watch streamers on Twitch yeah. and then watch random YouTube stuff. I don't know. Anything, anything new that I consumed that I liked, I loved. And mm-hmm. and now and now I have to question all of it. Because um, <laughs> like all of it was like the funniest thing I've seen in years. Uh, the most emotional, dramatic thing I've seen in years. It's so good. Uh, it was a very... You know, it, Emotions were definitely good and bad, were definitely heightened, you know, during that time yeah. because you needed an outlet for lots of stuff, and mm-hmm. there were less of those. So yeah. that's why you haven't watched Hamilton. That's why I hadn't watched it. Now, until now, now you've seen and it, and it was great. Are you glad you've seen it. I am very glad I've seen it. I I enjoy it. It was it's something I would definitely watch again, and I'll listen to. It random songs and stuff here once again just to make sure because it's like okay it's not like the fucking king george songs even though they're the main earwormy ones they're not the only good songs there's plenty of fantastic songs so i need to go back and actually listen to those until i end up like oh okay yeah this song this song this song and this song yep. but they're on spotify they are okay i, th- I think they've i think they've been uh, they've been on my on my end of the year most played list uh two years running nice my i I, i've only really hit somewhere uh, i but i the main thing that was on my most played list last year was an artist by the name of vancouver china and i think that's cool never heard of him yeah he's uh out of st louis should check him out oh he's here yeah vancouver china yeah that uh, it was just one of those things I was like, wait, wow, really? I listened to it that much? I was like, hmm. it's got this one song, All Time. Fantastic. It's got a music video, too, by some guy. Vancouver, China? Yeah. Is there a comma after Vancouver? Yeah, I believe it is. Like like the city would be in China. Right, like a city. Yeah, like Vancouver in China. And then what song did you say? All Time is a good one. All Time. Hits these falsettos, you know, the, all time. I'll check that out. Yeah. I'm always looking for music. Yeah, it's fantastic. But uh, actually, I think that's one of the things I listened to and learned about during the pandemic where I was like, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> especially when I started. And part of the main reason it, it was one of my most played lists is like, I would start a lot of my streams, especially during 2021, with that song playing just to get me in a cool, chill mood. Like, nice. what's up, everybody? Nice. Anyway. So, yeah. So, that's, uh, I believe, I believe we covered just about everything we need to cover. With the video. Yeah, I think so. I think so. What are All we right, uh, one, yeah, Do you edit these down? Or? Yeah. There will be some stuff edited down. Not like a lot of the conversation conversation but there's pre-roll post roll edited out are we in are we in the cutting room floor right now <laughs> only if you want to be or is this live <laughs> only if you want to be in there just ask you just ask nah. we're in a we're in a post edit world right now hey i'll tell you well actually i don't edit anything i've got a new editor hey i got him to do about one piece video instead of my start having on my channel um you, Pam? uh he's doing me a favor for now I don't oh. get paid for my videos. Hey, you know? Interns. Yeah. Interns. He, he wants to learn, get used to editing and stuff. Why not let him? You know? Yeah. I he heard might Philip edit this. Philip Schuyler had interns. Philip Schuyler. No, no. No. <laughs> no. I know who that is now. <laughs> I know <what> you're... <laughs> now, there will be pay just as soon as I get paid. <laughs> hey, is where people can find you if they want, if you want, or do you want to be found? No. <laughs> to both, I guess. <laughs> no, no, they can't find you, and no, you don't want to be found. Um, n- uh, uh, no, not really. Okay. Um, uh, I, I mean, I do, I do, I do things in the in the artistic community, I guess, under uh, under the name W. Smith the uh, Third, which is. Uh, um, 
um, probably closer to my real name than Bill. Um, but uh, uh, I, I participate in a lot of random things, but you might find me uh, helping out your favorite local music artist, get a video on YouTube or um, yeah, kicking around some photography. Uh, but Otherwise, I don't, I, I don't have an internet presence for, for you to find. All right. No problem. And yeah, y'all know y'all can find me here on this channel. You can also find me elsewhere on YouTube for the Whatever We Want podcast every week, every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central. You know, we got new episodes. Already have like 50-something episodes, which is, I don't know, 60-something episodes. 60-something. That's the thing that, that's the other thing that I kind of discovered during the pandemic. Talking with Super Jazz, because we started working on the YouTube videos with this channel, watching the DBZ movies, and then eventually we're like, hey, we tried like five different podcasts in the last that made it past, like up to like five episodes each, what if, and talking about specific stuff. What if we just talk about whatever we want? And... Sure and enough, then a light bulb. Literally during the Bursted. first e- no, during the first Bursted episode. Power above this. During the first episode, like he's like, "Hey, we're doing this podcast. We're just gonna stoop the stuff." And I'm like, "Yeah, that's right. Instead of talking about WWE, we're talking about WWW, whatever we want." And that's like, you know, that's not a bad title. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's what we went with. That's the title. <laughs> it's uh, a great story, Omari. Don't ever bring up Super Jazz on this podcast ever again. You're working with me now. You work with me. You don't talk You're about right. no Super Jazz. You're right. I never bring you up on whatever we want. You're right. So, uh, <laughs> well, you, 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 you got me there. Uh, no, 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 no. Jazz knows I listen. Jazz knows I'm a listener. Yeah, just the shit. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yep, you guys have a good one. And as they say, adiosness. <laughs> All right.